This presentation will go over the benefits of utilizing SciGen SciCapture with MFPs or scanning copiers. There are many challenges associated with scanning from a multifunction printer. They all have very basic capabilities. There's no standardization built into the interface. Documents are not searchable. It's a very time-intensive process if you have multiple documents. And there's a lack of integration into enterprise applications. So what can advanced capture do for you? It can reduce the required time for scanning and indexing documents. It can enable a standard process for scanning, capturing, indexing, naming, and processing files, and provide numerous gateways to multiple repositories on your network. All of this equals efficiency, standardization, and flexibility. From an advanced capabilities perspective, SciCapture provides the ability to read barcodes, look up information in databases, provide image processing capabilities. As shown here, you can clean up documents, de-skew them, de-speckle them, get rid of any marks on the doc, and it also provides point-and-click indexing. From a standardization perspective, it provides a standardized way for everyone in the organization to scan, capture, and process. One location, standardized folder structure, and a standardized file naming scheme. All the files that are scanned can become searchable. In this case, we can utilize searchable PDFs. We can reduce the scanning time required to scan multiple documents. In most cases, if you have three documents to scan on a copier, you'll walk up and scan them one at a time. This can be a very time-consuming process. Site Capture provides the ability to utilize barcode separator sheets. Take the separators, place them in the stack, and put the whole stack in the copier feed tray. The software will pick up, automatically split, process, file, and name based on information it finds on the barcodes. We support all different types of repositories uh, throughout all different organizations. Everything from Microsoft SharePoint to LaserFish to Sire. And for those that don't have a document management system, we support output to network folders as well as output to databases. So now let's take a quick look at how easy it is to process documents with SciCapture. So I can walk up to my scanning copier put in my purchase orders and click the scan button. It'll actually scan to a network folder that SciCapture is monitoring. By the time I get back to my desk, they will be in the queue and waiting to be processed. So I can sit down, click on index, choose my next batch, and it actually imports the documents right into the interface. In this case, you can see that I've got purchase order, vendor, and date are my fields that I want to fill in with information about the document. The purchase order number was automatically filled in by reading this barcode. The vendor, you can see that I've got a drop-down box that I built, and you can see that the application automatically zooms into the vendor section on the purchase order. So this is for Nolan Hardware, and when I click Tab, it goes back to the Date section. And I'll enter my date, hit tab, and it goes right to the next document in the sequence. So now when I click tab, I'm on my new document. This is for Willis Orchards. And this is also 1899 tab, right to the last document. In this case, the Cal Oil Company. And it's 11599. So as I am entering this information, you can see quick and easy entry of these fields. I can navigate back and forth to my documents. I can rotate. I can zoom in. I can zoom out if I like to view the entire document. So it's a very flexible interface for uh, doing a little bit of quality assurance on your documents and then filling in the information that's required. When I click tab, it's going to take me to the next step in my scanning workflow. And in this case, we're actually going to convert these to searchable PDF documents and then migrate them into folders. And all of this is done automatically by the software. So the end result, if I open up my folder structure here, 
is the application actually takes the information I entered about the documents and it builds a nice standardized folder structure for me. And then within the folders, I've got a nice neatly named file, vendor-invoice-number-date. And this is actually a searchable Adobe Acrobat file that I can search with Adobe Reader, eCopy Desktop, or I can actually place these into a document management system directly to make searching for them quick and easy.